Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Esatino Artist channel where we help you simplify your marketing so you can amplify your results. Today's video is going to show you how to create a YouTube content calendar in Airtable. So creating something like this where you can keep track of where every single video is and you can even also change it to a calendar view so that you could see what's going on in the upcoming weeks. There are so many different pieces to creating content for YouTube. You know, you got to plan the video and film it and, and do the SEO for it, upload it. So this is going to really help you keep track of where everything is. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to create a table like this with specific columns that will be helpful to you. Now we personally use this uh, spreadsheet as a way to keep track of our content because there are multiple people working on it. So there's myself, there's Jewel, we also have someone else, uh, Roland, who helps us do the SEO. But this is totally fine if you don't have other people working on your channel. I'm going to show you how to create a spreadsheet that's going to help you keep track of everything. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do if you don't already get an Airtable account, it's absolutely free. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can get a free Airtable account. And once you've logged in, you're going to see something like this, except with less colors, less because you'll have less bases. So what you want to do is add a base. And when you open that up, it's going to ask you if you want to start from scratch or start with a template. So I would say to start from scratch because I'm going to show you how to create each column. So let's go ahead and do that. And you're going to title your base. So you might want to put YouTube content calendar. This just affects the color of the base. So that's fine. You could choose an icon, but for time purposes, let's just click out of that. All right. So they have by default these specific columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to this arrow and because it's already a text column, which is what we need here, I'm just going to rename it to let's do working video title. Next, you'll want to have a notes column. I left that in and you can make sure that it is a long text. If by the way, these aren't lining up, uh, you can select the arrow, go to customize field type. And from here, you can change the type of column it is. So this first one is a single line text. This next one is long text in case you have more notes. Maybe you're putting the outline of your video or uh, bullet points or even a full script in here. So you can change the title accordingly and also the type of column from here. Now, next thing you wanna do is I'm gonna move the status over. So I'm gonna click on this and drag it towards the left. Airtable, by the way, is super easy to use. A more modern version of Excel, but way better. Uh, so let's put that right here. I'm gonna leave the attachments column there. So status is really, you know, it's up to you what categories you want to create. We're going to have a drop down here where we'll be able to select multiple status options. So to edit those options, by default it says to do in progress done, but let's go ahead and edit that. So again, I'm going to click on this, this little downwards arrow. We're going to go to customize field type. Now it's a single select, so meaning you can only choose one option. A multiple select column, which is down here, allows you to choose multiple options, but we're gonna stick with this. So you might have, again, customize this to what you need, but maybe I'll have a planning option, so I'm still figuring out the idea for the video. Then I might have filming, it's in filming mode, then editing. I can add another option here and go SEO, research, and then this might be scheduled or published. So let's go ahead and save that. By the way, uh, before I save it, you can also change the colors here. So I'm just gonna make sure these are different colors. There we go, save. And I'm gonna show you an example of this in action as well so you can see this in action. All right, attachments. 
totally up to you if you want to keep this column. Uh, you might want to use it, let's say, if you're collaborating with someone else on designing your YouTube thumbnails, then you can leave that in here. And as soon as you grab the thumbnail from them, you can drop it in here easily. You can literally just drag and drop from your, your computer to this little piece here, or you can do it you know, the usual way where you add it, and then you can choose the file from your computer. It can also be uh, assets for your video. So if you're, again, maybe someone else is editing your videos and you have certain images that you want them to include in the edit, you can have this column specifically be assets for video edit or something like that. But if you don't need it, all you need to do to get rid of this column is just hit the drop down, select delete field, and it'll go away. I just want to show you on back on our example on our spreadsheet, we have different days for publishing our videos. So we have specific content that we release on Mondays, specific content that we release on Tuesdays, etc. So we have a column here that states what day of the week it's going to go out on. Now, if you have the same thing, maybe you have certain themes that you create your videos around during the week, then you can create the same column. I'll show you how to do that quickly in a second. Or if you're just doing, you know, you're releasing one video a week and, and you don't have any solid publishing schedule yet, then you can totally just ignore that. But let's go back here. The day column would just be adding a new column here, going to single select, and then you can title this as day, and then you can set your options here. So maybe you release every Monday or Wednesday and Wednesday, and you have certain topics for Mondays that go out and certain topics for Wednesdays. So we can create that field. Let's make sure it's there. Yes. All right. Definitely want a published date or it's scheduled to go out on this date. So let's do, uh, let's just do release date. And I'm going to go ahead and select the date option for here. So you can choose what format you want the date to be in. I like to have it the friendly so I can see the month easily. And you can also include the time if you want. So you don't have to, but if you want to put the time that's going to be released at so you can keep track of that, you can enable this option here and then just let it know what kind of time format you like, whether it's 12 hour or the 24 hour clock, and then hit create field. And this is really cool when you come here, you can just double click and literally just select the time easily without sitting there typing in the times and the dates. All right, and then for your final columns here, you may wanna create a checkbox column. Like going back here, we have these columns that indicate whether the thumbnail is done, whether the description is done, because again, we're collaborating different aspects of the channel. So this just kind of communicates to all of us where that video is at. So you can do that by hitting this plus button again, selecting checkbox, and then going whatever you need here. Is the thumbnail done? And I just usually leave it on the green check box or check mark. You can select other little icons, but that's available on the pro plan. So I just leave it as such and then create field. So you can see here it has a little check box for me. All right, so let's put this into action. So maybe I have one video here um, that we're going to do. I have some notes that I've put in here and the status is I'm still planning it. I'm going to release this video. It's a Monday type video and I want to release it August 9th. Um, I haven't done the thumbnail yet. I'm going to populate some information into this spreadsheet so that I can show you what it looks like and how you'll be able to see once all of the content is organized. All right, so I've populated some information, some data into the content calendar. Now this is going to be really helpful for you guys to be able to group certain videos by status. It's going to help you see everything at a glance in terms of what videos are in the planning stage, what videos are being filmed, which ones are being edited, and which ones are ready to go out. So to see all of that at a glance, you just need to go to group and then we're going to group it by this column here by status. So I'm going to pick a field status 
and you see here automatically it grouped it for me this is going to be really helpful to see at a glance where everything is at coming down the pipeline and i can also see where everything is at from the calendar view so i would just need to add a calendar view here it says, which date do you want to go by? So I only have the one date column, which is the release date. So I'm gonna go done, and then it's gonna map it out on the calendar for me. If I don't have dates set yet to these records, then they will show up on the side here. So let me just show you really quickly on our spreadsheet. So I have a bunch that don't have dates, uh, and I can just click and drag and put it directly into the calendar view if I like to do it that way. So you can make sure that you have a specific video going out every single Monday or Wednesday. Now let's go back here to the grid view. Another quick thing that I wanna show you. Over time, this here, this is gonna get really busy and really cluttered. So you might have noticed on our spreadsheet, it's very simple. There's only really one thing to look at and we've released a ton of videos. And that's because whenever we select our status as scheduled or published or done, then we tell the spreadsheet to hide it so that it doesn't mess up our view here. So in order to do that, you need to create a filter mode. So go up here to filter, select add filter, and you're gonna say where the status is, or show everything, where the status is not scheduled or published. So anything that doesn't have the scheduled or published status, it's gonna show to you. So let me show you this in action. So I'll come down here, I've done the research for this, now I've scheduled it out to go out. So when I hit this, you see here, it's going to hide it. And you can always access it again if you need to. All you need to do is just come back here and just X out on that filter and you'll be able to see it. But when you do have that filter on, like so, you'll easily be able to just hide everything once it comes down that pipeline and you can see exactly what's in your, work, your workspace. So guys, that is it for this video. Was this helpful for you? If so, please do hit the thumbs up button, give us a like, and let me know what else you wanna see on Airtable. I absolutely love this tool. I've already created a bunch of other videos on this channel that you guys are loving. So I'll put a link to some of the other Airtable tutorials that we have on this channel in case you wanna dive into more. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.